Now we'll discuss about this gravitational field due to a circular arc. So over here consider that we are having a circular arc of mass m and take it as its uh, radius is r. And our aim is to find out what about the value of gravitational field at its center. So for the calculation purpose we are just dividing this one into two parts. I'll just drawing a bisector over here. We are just considering a small element of mass uh, let's say dm over here a small element of mass dm let's say this element is having a mass take it as nothing but dm and you can just uh, observe that with respect to the center this dm element is making some angle so consider that uh, this angle is represented by d theta over here so this small element of mass dm making an angle d theta with respect to its center. So first we can find out what about the value of gravitational field due to this small element of mass dm at its center. Now from the equation of uh, gravitational field we can write gravitational field due to this small element dg is equal to, to g dm divided by r square. And even we can observe what about the direction of this uh, gravitational field will be along this direction. Just uh, consider that this is equal to dg. And you can observe that this uh, element is making an angle theta with respect to this bisector line. So this angle should also be equal to theta. So we can resolve this dg into its components. One component along this direction that we can take it as dg cos theta and a component along this direction that we can take it as dg sin theta. Now if we are just considering similar element on the other side means if we are just considering an element over here so again we can say that uh, this element will also produce its own gravitational field and uh, that will be in this direction let's say that is also equal to dg and again if it is uh, it is make an angle theta so here also we can resolve this one into two components one is dg cos theta and this component we can take it as dg sin theta so that uh, we can say that uh, net gravitational field is due to all these uh, dg cos theta components or you can find, find out it by integrating all this dg cos theta component so you can write this is equal to integration of g dm divided by r square into cos theta. Now we can write the value of this uh, dm in terms of theta. So the value of dm will be equal to total mass of this rod. We are taking it as nothing but m and total length of this arc. We can write length of this arc is equal to let us its angle is alpha and its radius we can take it as let's say r so total mass by total length will be m divided by alpha into r into the length of that small portion that we selected that we can take it as nothing but r into d theta so we can write the value of this dm as equal to m into d theta divided by alpha so what we are talking is about the calculation of this uh, dm element that is uh, we just consider that the length of uh, this arc which is nothing but take it as l and total angle over here take it as alpha so from the definition of theta we can write theta is equal to length of arc divided by radius that's why we are writing this alpha is equal to l by r so l is equal to r into alpha and the length of the small element dl we can take it as r d theta which we are writing mass of this uh, small element dm will be equal to total mass by total length into length of that small portion so that uh, we already discussed over here which is equal to nothing but dm is equal to m into theta d theta divided by alpha I can put this value over here for the uh, calculation of. so we can write net gravitational field as equal to integration of g instead of uh, mass dm we can take it as it is m into d theta divided by alpha into cos theta 
by r square so we can write this g m alpha by r square we can take it as constant it is integration of cos theta d theta now we can consider what about the limit we should put if the total angle we are taking it as something but alpha so with respect to this bisector line this we can take it as minus alpha by 2 and this we can take it as plus alpha by 2 so we need to integrate it from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 so we can put the limit from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 so the value of uh, integration of cos theta we can take it as sine theta and the limit is changing from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 so if you are putting this uh, limit we will get as it is g m alpha r square into sine alpha by 2 minus sine minus alpha by 2 and we know that uh, and we know that this uh, sine minus theta is limit minus sine theta so the value of g we can take it as nothing but uh, 2 g m sine alpha by 2 divided by alpha into r square or in general we'll represent it something like this g m sine alpha by 2 divided by r square into alpha by 2 so we'll use this equation g is equal to gm sin alpha by 2 divided by r square alpha by 2 for the calculation of gravitational field due to a circular arc of mass m and radius r and making and its total angle is alpha